Okay. You want a real mystery? You think you know the answer? Uh, my favorite motto, and it's my own, is that descriptions are not explanations. Here we have a lens that's just hotter than hell. Here we have a Geiger counter. Here we have an external speaker. Why don't I stick my face over this lens, right? It's not just emitting alpha, but beta and gamma. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's turn that off, right? And let's get the extremely radioactive lens out of my face. And there you go, boy. Oh, God, that lens is heavy. Uh, now, here's a mystery. And uh, don't give me a description because uh, I hate descriptions. Why? Well, descriptions explain things. No, they don't. Description is not an explanation. That's what I, I can't stand people that give I mean, it's just, and so if they're reading out of a book. Why do you think decades ago they decided to put uh, heavy amounts, and that lens is just, that lens is just hot as hell, by the way. Heavy amounts of uh, radioactive thorium in the lenses. Why it changes uh, the refractive properties of the lenses and it changes uh, the diffusion of the light. And therefore, we're able to achieve uh, better indices of refraction. Okay, that's the description. You know, uh, you know what nitrous uh, oxide is? Is used to uh, boost uh, catalytic conversion in engines. Like someone's got a street car and they hit the nitrous switch and wah! A pedal. The nature of how that works is unknown. I don't care if you believe me. Look it up. So we still don't know how it works. It just works. It's the same thing with that. However, I do know what's going on with that. And uh, the mistake that everybody makes is that they think that light is something different than radio. And it's not. A lens is nothing other than an antenna. You know kind of how like you could eat grandma's cookies and uh, they taste awesome and you can eat the same chocolate chip cookie from the store and it tastes like crap? Or you could eat, uh, you know, there's like 10,000 ways to make chocolate chip cookies. Different types of chocolate, different ways of adding it different times. The lenses are the same way. Chocolate chip cookie is a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, and a lens is a lens. Kiss my ass if you believe that nonsense. Um, so why do you think that they added that radioactive thorium uh, to that lens? Answer me that question. Let's turn there yet. Let's turn the Geiger counter off so we don't burn the batteries. Um, the answer is unknown. You won't find an answer. You'll find descriptions it changes the refractive index from blah, 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 blah. And it changes the diffusion of the light earning the lens, blah, 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 blah. That's a description. That's not an explanation. There is absolutely no difference between your DSLR camera and a ham radio or a professional radio receiver. Not a damn difference. Uh, radio and light, visible light, it's the same crap. It's a coaxial circuit. A lens is exactly like an antenna. And uh, I'm sure that you don't know much about antennas, but I do. And I've made a lot of antennas. I have dropped soldering, uh, dropped uh, solder flux on my hands and scalded my hands, you know, sitting there soldering a coaxial leads to hand-built Yagi antennas. Why do you think it's in there? Answer that question. Why do you think... This is like some random guys one day said, you know, we've got this camera lens here. Let's throw some radioactive shit in it. You know, bam! You know, just for the hell of it. Why? What? What? Explanations. All these people out there, this is very relevant to what people think about now. Well, a 35mm F2 is the same as a 35mm F2. No, it's not! That's like saying grandma's cookies are the same as the cookies you bought at Kroger's or Walmart. It's like, these Walmart cookies suck ass. Grandma's cookie tastes like... Why? They both got chocolate in them. They're both baked for the same period of time. They both got the same, you know... It, no, it's totally different. You're right, they are different. So why again do you think there's a bunch of... Now, the radioactive stuff isn't put in the lenses anymore. But guess what? They replaced it with something that does almost as good. Thorium, uh, not thorium, but uh, niobium oxide. Um, uh, different uh, sort of uh, compounds. It changes the dielectric permittivity of the lenses. 
You see, here's the secret. If you think a lens is just a glass with a focusing mechanism and uh, you know a bunch of glass elements with certain refractive indices, then you're an idiot and you're flat out, at, just flat on your ass wrong. That crap that is added to that lens, which is heavily radioactive, you know, they're doing the same thing now except they're using different compounds, which changes the dielectric permittivity of the glass. It's kind of like greasing up your frying pan. You know, you kind of use an old frying pan and you flip your eggs on it and your, your crap gets stuck to the frying pan. It's like, well, you know, spray it with some Crisco. That way your crap won't stick to the pan. It's the same analogy. The glass, it's not a coating. That is not a coating, by the way. That is in the glass. It's the same thing as coating, except this, in the case of the lens, it's not coated. Coating your frying pan with some uh, no-slip substance so your eggs don't stick to the pan or whatever the hell it is you're cooking. You know, dead moose or whatever it is. Same thing it does to the light. Everything in the universe is resistance, capacitance, permeability, and permittivity. Magnetic permeability and dielectric permittivity. Light is a circuit! Light is electrical! What the hell do you think photography is? Photographia, writing with light, right. Tell, tell me what the difference is between the camera that I'm filming my ugly face on and a radio. Nothing! The lens is an antenna with a certain native gain. Same thing with the Yagi antenna. You got quarter wave, eighth wave, half wave. That's the native gain of the antenna. Then you have signal processing. Same thing on a radio, it's the same crap that's on a uh, DSLR camera. EMR is EMR is EMR. There is no difference between a radio and your freaking camera. And if you think a lens is strictly a housing with some glass in it, then you are smoking crack. You know, all of this is the scientific aspect of photography. You know, it doesn't help you take better photographs. It's nice to know this stuff though, isn't it? You won't hear any photography magazine or any photography book. Go find one. You won't find a single one talking about this. Not a damn one. Just ask somebody, uh, even the idiots that work for Nikon or Canon, they won't, they won't t there's like a handful of people, literally, that know what the secret formulas are, especially the Zeiss. All this, like a, a grandma's secret cookie. She's got a special ingredient she tosses in there. Cinnamon or whatever the hell. You know, she spits on them. Who knows? This is added to the glass. I'm not talking about coatings. Coatings, of course, play an important role in light transmission and reflectivity. I'm talking about what is in the damn glass. In other words, when that glass is molten like gooey honey, what they throw in that glass to change the properties of how light passes through it. In this case, it's radioactive thorium. They use the same stuff, to, not the, that same stuff, but they use the same stuff today that does the same thing. So now it's like 14 different compounds. Niobium dioxide and, uh, oh my god, uh, some yttrium, there's a yttrium compound. There's all sorts of uh, freaky uh, dielectric compounds that are added to the glass. So, that's still a secret. Nobody knows what it, I mean, I know what it does. It changes the dielectric primitivity of the glass that allows for better refraction, which allows for less diffusion, which are all honorable, awesome characteristics that every camera manufacturer, every lens manufacturer specifically, wants in their lenses. This is like a huge secret of that. Well, a 35mm f2 is a 35mm f2. No, it's not. No, it's not. If you think that, or if someone told you that, whoever told you that, tell them they're smoking crack and they're idiots. Have them come talk to me. I'll slap them around really good. Let's have a talk. We'll have a talk. I'll tap dance on your skull. Not meaning you, whoever told you that. Because it's not true. <laughs> you know, this is the scientific aspect of photography, obviously. But why did you, have you ever asked yourself, like, if you think a lens is just glass and a metal housing, then you are dead wrong. You're just flat out balls wrong. And you're never going to find the answer to this stuff from anybody. You won't. People will say, well, it changes the diffusive property. You go online or you ask somebody, well, it changes it. That's a description. That's not an explanation. Thanks for watching.